Hello everyone, my name is Alex Burleson and this video is going to be the first of many, hopefully in a series, of me sharing my knowledge, experience, and just some, you know, tips of my journey in the aquarium hobby. So, for this first video, what I've decided is to do a video just over what I feed, you know, my fish and creatures, like I keep Neocaridina shrimp and snails in this aquarium right here, that's kind of like my planet tank right there. And then you know this is one of this is my 55 gallon just one of my aquariums that i have let me fix this okay so basically the first brand that i'm going to cover is omega one you've probably seen omega one if you shop at PetSmart, if you shop at pet supplies plus i'm not sure if petco carries it they don't actually have a petco in my area um so omega one now this right here is just the omega one super color you know flakes um, the first ingredient in many Omega one products is a very hardy I don't know if you guys can see that but if it's whole salmon for this but it's you know a very hardy uh, nice nice blend of things um, and my fish seem to enjoy it I feed this from everything to I, I feed this to you know pretty much my angelfish the tetras I have the betas um, I only have two betas, but now these two were actually given to me and even though this is marketed for goldfish, I do feel like a lot of food is just marketed for certain types of fish, but you can definitely feed it to other fish. So it's marketed for goldfish, but again, the first ingredient is whole salmon. Um, very, very similar in ingredients to this right here. My angelfish and Congo tetras seem to really enjoy this. Um, my friend didn't need it anymore, so that's why I have it. Now, this right here is supposed to be just freeze-dried shrimp. Whenever you open it up, you know, you can see all the little shrimp. Um, they kind of have a putrid smell to them. Pretty much every day, maybe every other day, I give my arrow crab and my saltwater tank one of these guys. Um, arrow crabs have pretty, pretty big appetites, and I just want to, you know, quell that so I don't see anything like corals going missing, things like that. Another product, you know, that I do feed my fish and I'll give a quick review on is the cobalt uh, shrimp pellets. And basically the whole, you know, the first ingredient in this says, you know, wheat, fish meal. It doesn't even really say that there's shrimp in this product right here. Um, but I do feed this to, you know, like my lower grade, um, and, and sometimes my higher grade shrimp, you know, like Neocardiata, Cardina. Um, my pink ram's horns that I breed, they pretty much get this all the time, about every day. I also feed this to my Corridors if I'm out of the Omega-1 shrimp pellets, which I'm pretty sure they actually have shrimp in them. Um, another Omega-1 product, this is dried seaweed. My yellow tank gets this every single day. Um, I've noticed that the clownfish in that saltwater tank also really, really seem to enjoy this. Um, all it is, you know, if you just open it up, it's just dried seaweed. And what I do every day is just rip off a little tiny, you know, sliver and just put it in the water. I don't even bother with the clip, to be honest, um, because I'll just rip it right off the clip. Another product that pretty much all I feed my saltwater fish is this right here besides the, you know, this. So this is just Larry's Reef Services, um, that's the brand. I get it from a local fish store called Simply Salt Aquatics. I really enjoy this brand and what I do every day is just kind of let it thaw out. Um, it is a frozen food, but it has many really, really wholesome ingredients like, you know, whole perch, uh, you know, things like that, uh, clam, you know, just really, really good ingredients. And I'll post a link to their website in the description of the video. I also carry, you know, or not carry, but I also keep blood worms. Um, it is pretty nasty. The reason why it looks so nasty is because this bag actually kind of leeches, so I keep it in another bag, so it's not all over my freezer. Um, basically, you, basically, blood worms are just, you know, mosquito larvae. That's basically all they are. Um, and, you know, many fish from my angelfish really, my angelfish really love them, and then my corridors do as well. We'll move on to the more, to the live food. 
So really the only live food I feed, and I culture my own Grindel worms, you can actually see all of them right here. It's just, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of them in this little container right here. But all, almost all of my fish, from my angelfish to my betas to my clownfish occasionally, love these Grindel worms. What Grindel worms are is they're a small relative of the white worm, and they're actually a nematode, and they really, really are really nutritious. My baddest, you know, um, pygmy corridoras, and even my regular corridoras, and really enjoy those um, to eat. Um, as far as like, when if I ever have a breeding project going on, I'm well prepared because I have this entire thing of vinegar eels. Which, if you don't know what vinegar eels are, they're just very, they're very, very similar to micro worms, which is what these are. Um, and you can see all of these are just the micro worms. These have a very, very putrid smell. If you open the top, it's just glistening with worms. Very, very pu putrid smell. You have to give them yeast um, supplementation every few days, and it's just very nasty. Alright, but that's my first video. You know, please like and subscribe to my channel, all the things that YouTubers say, and thank you for watching.